fields seem a little bigger, lights seem a little brighter, but I think with all the guys we have, we kind of just play together and like that doesn't really make us nervous really as much. Um, seems like we're all just playing for the guy next to us and the lights and the stage are kind of obsolete at that point. So how'd you guys pull this off? I didn't really know what was going to happen this year. Uh, we didn't lose many people. We had a lot of the same guys and uh, I think everyone was was really rallying to make a change this year and going from 11 wins to 50 now was was pretty substantial for a change. A lot of our guys, it's like their last year and they've been here for a long time. So we want to make it count. It seems as if you've definitely made it count. <laughs> yeah. So you went to Sage Creek, right? Yep. I just assume it has to feel just a teensy bit more special to do it in front of your own community. I think it just makes it a little bit more special how exactly how you said. Um, just like seeing some of my friends who maybe have free time to take the little 30 minute drive from from our city down here just to come watch me play is like pretty special. I've had a couple coaches from the past come to watch me play too. And that's just, it's kind of like the icing on the cake. What's life like at uh, PLNU? You guys have your little slice of paradise, best field, best view and all the baseball out there. For me, uh, you show up, we got early morning weights. Um, you know, you walk by the ocean to get there. So I guess that's, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Come out to the baseball field that also looks over the ocean. So that's pretty cool. Pretty much the best we can honestly ask for. And uh, we get to do that like five, six days a week. So it doesn't really get old.